and we are back many thanks for choosing us to keep you company all the way till 7 p.m and in case you're just joining us welcome to kenya's gold now when you see this sitting then you know it's time for the gold conversation with the aim of understanding a lot more on biochar and organic farming to help us with that conversation we are joined by titus kipkoech agronomist from safi organics thank you very much for coming and making time for us thank you very much Ingina, for right. having me this evening uh -huh. here Thank right. you very much. So let's just jump straight into the conversation. We have seen a feature on biochar and the benefits that it does have on our soils. You can use waste to make the biochar from trees and branches that fall off. What do we do about people who can choose to make this a business and go about cutting trees? Because that also can be converted into biochar and also it can be a business. What advice are we giving people out there? Okay, thank you for that question. As one way, uh, biochar is meant, is one of the products that comes from wood chips. Mm -hmm. And these wood chips comes from forest, that is trees. Mm -hmm. These are way that we can't even uh, advise any other person mm -hmm. to come up with uh, cutting up the trees. As you can know, we don't encourage deforestation, mm -hmm. but you can use other products, for example, agricultural products to make this biochar away from trees. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now, uh, keep quiet. Swali lingine ambayo yagependa kuulizo metazama makala ambayo itumeanda siku ya leo. Kuna mkulima ambayo na kutazama na nashanga ni maganda mchele peki yake tunaweza tumia kutengeneza biochar ama kuna mbinu nyingine. Asante sana Terer uh, kwa kuwa nami joni huu. So, uh, kwa kusema ukweli, Sisi kama safi organics tunatumia maganda za mchele kwa wingi la si maganda peke yake za mchele mm -hmm. tunaweza tumia maganda yoyote hile inapatikana kwenye mm -hmm. eh, ma, mashamba uh, ukienda example huko Kisumu utapata unapata kuna sugarcane mm -hmm. so tunatumia kama sugarcane tuko na pia avocado ask za kahawa tuko pia ukienda north rift unaenda kupata uko utapata kuna uh, zile mabaki za mahindi kwa wingi so si si mchele maganda za mchele peke yake tunaweza tumia katika huu biochar all right. Now, when we still talk about the benefits that we are seeing from using biochar and the fact that it has a lot of advantages on our soil, is it advisable that once I use the biochar for my farm, I still go ahead and use now the chemical fertilizers and the harsh pesticides, which we do know play a very big role in soil degradation? What are we advocating? Are we advocating for 100% organic farming or what is the way forward with using biochar? As a main way of using biochar, uh, biochar is used mostly for for farmers to reclaim their uh, degraded lands, mm -hmm. and that's how it comes now. Uh, be using biochar, unezaitumia, you can use it alone as a standalone mm -hmm. uh, fertilizer, mm -hmm. of which, as time comes, you'll have more rip in your farm and your uh, crops in the farm. Mm -hmm. So is it harmful if I mix with chemical fertilizer or if I go the biochar way, I stick to using biochar? As one way, you just, uh, as one way for farmers, you can't just wake up today and say, I'm, I'm going for biochar, no. So as a way, one way that we have been doing with this perspective of biochar mm -hmm. is just to encourage these farmers to use a bit and a bit, just to mix them mm -hmm. and have more perception or how the reception in the farm how it looks okay. yes all right na, na, na swali lingine kutokana na hilo mnaelimisha wakulima kwa, kwa mfano unataka asikwende moja kwa moja kwa biochar atajuaje kwamba ni wakati sasa wa kuanza kutumia biochar unaweza jibu kwa lugha yote ambayo utaenda sawa kwa mm. uh, kwa kusema ukweli tumekuwa tukizingatia eh, kwa kuwafunza wa kulima. Mm -hmm. Having trainings and educating them on the importance of having this biochar. Mm -hmm. As a one way, uh, we teach them on how they are going to have this biochar with them by uh, 
using the well available products that is a raw material sinyi tuna tuna encourage our for example ukienda kwa mkulima unaweza pata ako na mabaki mingi za uh, zinaweza kuwa biochar hivyo ndivyo tunaweza fanya kama safi organic so we we do training we have number of uh, tra trainings that tumefanya mm -hmm. na tuna ukitaka personal training tunaweza kuja kwako tukufunze vile unaweza tengeneza biocha yako. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the future of organic farming in Kenya. Tumesikia wakulima wengine wakisema it's too tedious, it's not applicable, it's not something that you can do through and through being an agronomist from Safi Organics. From where you sit, what is the future and do you think we can reach a place where we are 100% totally reliant on organic farming? As a one way with the uh, organic uh, farming that is organic products that we have in the with us mm -hmm. is that most of this perception is mo, some farmers some people can just wake up today and say let's go organic way so as as a way that we, we need to go we evolve as one time to another time mm -hmm. so uh, with this one uh whatever i see is that whenever we adapt and we keep ourselves from a perspective that the organic is not making uh, yields. Mm -hmm. If these things goes one way or the other way, uh, one, one time to another time, mm -hmm. you'll just see a rip in, in, uh, in the crops, in the pr production, that is production in most of the farmers. And this is a way also with a long future plan with uh, organic. Mm -hmm. Most of the farmers will hand their carbon credits because they'll have done more on they have they will have done more on the carbon carbon sequestration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's achievable, but it will take some time. It is achievable, but it will take some time. Yes. Nimefurahia kwa sentence yako unavoeleza kuna jambo umesema kuhusiana na carbon credits. Naam. Hapo mkulima atanufaika vipi? Uh, kama safi organics vile tumekuwa tukilifanya wakati huu ni atujafikia kile kiwango cha kwa pair cause inaenda, inaenda na certification kadhaa ndio au wakulima wapate kwa hivyo tuna tuna encourage the more of use of this organic fertilizers is the more way of earning carbon credits when everything will be on our tables and that's how most of the farmers will earn their carbon mm -hmm. credits. And yes. do you think our farmers right now are now elimishwa kabisa kusiana na maswala ya carbon credits, especially those now in the rural areas? Najua kuna wengi sana ukiwambia carbon credits, they do not know what you're talking about. Ni nini aswa tunafanya kwa kikisha, even these words that we are talking about and what they mean is well understood by our farmers in different parts of the country. Uh, tukizingatia vile serikali iko saizi vile imekuwa iki ikifanyia wakulima ili tuweze kupata huo mkondo wa organic that's an organic future plan mm -hmm. so tunaona katika huu kwa kwa train kwa kuafikia wale wakulima wenye wako mashinani mm -hmm. that's the more time they will really understand on organic farming mm -hmm. and that's how the more we do organic and the more we we make our farm very healthy that's a way that most of these carbon cre credit certification uh, plants that are seeing over uh, seeing us will come here and do the same thing all right kidogo kuna mtu ambaye anakutazama na anashindwa carbon credits ni nini a carbon credit ni zile kipato ambalo ambacho tunazipata kwa kusequest mm -hmm. ule carbon kwenye atmosphere ili tuzieke wapi tu, tu, we are storing them mm -hmm. we, kwa kingereza yes we are storing this carbon mm -hmm. for which will be a, a one way of uh, climate mitigation mm -hmm. yes okay. all right now let's talk about safety 
You've spoken about how if I'm making biochar, I can also use, you know, wood, you know, you burn it under low oxygen and you get your biochar. Yes. What are the safety precautions, both to the human being and the environment that I need to put in place to make sure as I'm converting my waste, my wood into biochar, I'm still considering environmental health and human health as well? Uh, as a one way that you have been doing is uh, to ensure we are environmentally we are environment friendly. Mm -hmm. And that's how we have come up with a technology mm -hmm. which will be equivalent to our environment and it will be more friendly to our environment. And your machine in it will kill. This kill will be more uh, environment friendly. Na inaweza kufanya uh, our environment not to be as adias. Also in terms of human. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, because inatumika temperature kubwa sana kwa ku, kuchoma u biochar ambacho uweze pata the oxygen ile oxygen vinyo umesema mm -hmm. so the moment it's ina ina kwa heated we ensure that our people who are around the, the machine are well equipped with the ppes so that they cannot expose themselves to Heat. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there's the need for the PPEs, but let's talk about that farmer who doesn't have that technology of a kiln that you've talked about. What can they do to make sure they're also secure without the machine you have invented? As uh, one way to those uh, farmers who have the, already the raw materials, is, uh, is uh, because it's more the, the heat is quite high actually it's about 300 to 500 500 degrees celsius mm -hmm. so the mom, the moment to our fanya is uh, we can join them as a group actually mm -hmm. and they can access this kiln so that by the end of it they will get the the end the end product at a rate uh currently your machine in akuja we have we haven't uh, so the machine is on the on the way okay. but as by next year, the, the, the coming month, mm -hmm. we'll access it so that most of these uh, farmers who have their raw materials, they can access th that machine with, with a well-precautioned machine, right. which will not harm them. Okay. Anabo Zungumza, Titus Kipkoech, na memini kama arifa kweli kweli miyake ya kia midogo, lakini anayelewa tayari na mna ya kutunza mazingire yetu kubwa zaidi ni kupiga vita, mabadiliko na athari ya tabianchi, lakini sasa tuendegerige mapumzi kwa kidunya.